Hello and welcome. I'm Camille Elemia, and this is Rappler Talk. Today, our guest may be unknown to some of you, but that's because she has chosen to stay quiet and low profile all this time. But today, she has chosen to grant us her first ever sit down interview. Let us get to know the woman behind the president of ruling party PDP Laban and former Senate President Coco Pimentel. Let us get to know Katrina Yu, who in a few weeks' time will be known as Mrs. Coco Pimentel. Thank you, Kat, for joining us today. Thank you for inviting yeah. Camille. I heard you're a chef. Can you tell us first how you, how was your life back then before being in the public? I used to have a small restaurant in Makati before, mm -hmm. and I I would uh, I had a, a canteen in schools uh, before I met Senator Coho, um, and then um, I also. I, I was teaching Culinary 101 in Asia Pacific College in Magallanes. So you, you studied in college to be a chef? <laughs> Not really. <laughs> I studied business management in University of Asia and the Pacific. Um, being a chef is a hobby. Uh, since I was a little kid, I would uh, study, uh, read cookbooks, um, watch cooking show, watch my Lolo and Lola in the kitchen. Then eventually, um, during college, I would supply uh, cookies and pastries for a friend who has a coffee shop um, in, in uh, food courts. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. So how did you meet Senator Coco Pimentel? What year was this and how was it like? I met him in uh, May 2013 during his victory party. A friend invited me to attend. Um, and then uh, the second time I, I met him was July. He invited me for lunch, but I didn't show up <laughs> because uh, maybe because I was too skeptical about politicians and uh, about his intentions towards me. And then um, on a third occasion, we met again September 2013. Um, that was the time uh, he, con he convinced me to cater in his office. So I was a regular caterer in his office, and then um, I, 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 was, I, was, I was wondering why he kept on asking me to make him coffee. And, and then I told uh, Ron, his uh, EA at that time, why, why, bakit ako parate ang pinagtitimpla ng kape? And then I found out later on that it was his way of endearment to get closer to me mm -hmm. because he's acidic pala. Hindi pala siya umiinom din ng coffee. So hindi pala talaga siya nagkakape? Hindi talaga. Gusto lang niya na huwi. Gusto way. lang niya na timplahan siya and then siguro mm -hmm. yun yung way na makakapag-usap kami. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yun. And how did the relationship develop since then? Our first uh, date talaga na kaming dalawa lang was during the Marikina Ball. My um, Mayor Del de Guzman, our relative, was mayor during that time. Senator Coco invited me to assist, uh, to, to be his ball date. Uh, I, I think it was a fundraising ball. So sabi ko, sige, we'll go. Kasi tutal, Marikina naman and relative naman din si, Tito, uh, si Mayor Del. So I'll, I'll join you. Yun. And then since then, naging kayo na ba agad or was uh, like a mutual connection? Ma me medyo, medyo matagal-tagal pa ulit kasi sabi niya sa akin, ah, at the time lang na parang aka I think na kami na kasi biglang sabi niya, oh you cannot see anybody else ha. <laughs> uh, yun, yun. <laughs> yun pala yung style niya. <laughs> yun. So how did the proposal come about? Or the idea of marriage? idea of marriage was uh, Valentine's Day this year. Um, it was very straightforward, hindi, hindi, nga, um, hindi romantic. He just told me over dinner na, I, th I believe it's time for us to be a family with the boys and to have our own family. So from then on, we, we started planning na for the wedding, pero medyo diba, tahimik pa rin. Mm -hmm. um, Hanggang third quarter of this year, dun lang talaga kami nag announce na the wedding will be on October 18. Why decide to hold it on October 18 and this year then, 2018? Kasi October 18, uh, we like the number 10, 18, 18. Maybe it's because of my Chinese side also. Diba mapamanhiin. And then, um, it's my birth month also. October, so para isang isang celebration na lang. 
Yun. And then uh, we chose Coconut Palace because um, it's romantic uh, by the bay, sunset by the bay. Mm -hmm. And then the structure of the Coconut Palace is very Filipinian, Filipino. We all know Senator Coco to be um, a serious, mm -hmm. cerebral, and quiet person. Like I covered him since 20, 2011 and that's yes. how I knew him. Yes. Is he also like that? Even in fam even in private, with family, with friends? It's the exact opposite. Because he's very sweet, thoughtful, and caring. Um, at first, yun din, medyo akala ko sobra siyang stricto and sobrang formal. But when he was courting me, he, he, he kept on texting me, uh, making sure I ate my meals on time. And then even if he was busy in the Senate, he would, he would text me. And then, um, dun approve ko na kahit gano pala ka busy ang tao, pag, pag gusto ka talaga in love ka, he would make time. Because every day, uh, before talaga, um, after his session, kahit super late na, we would, we would eat dinner, we would eat dinner together, and yon magkukwentuhan kami how our day went. <laughs> Why do you think the relationship is working? If Senator Coco is like the more serious type, yes. and you're the more fun type, can you ah, say that? Maybe opposite attract, because um, he's more or parang katulad yan, he's more organized and perfectionist. Ako naman si adventure and uh, go with the flow. Tapos siguro, I love to cook and then he loves to eat. <laughs> Tapos he's the more conservative type and um, he's uh, the realistic one. And then ako naman si, ano, si explorer na, na very, ano, very uh, risk taker din. Yun. How did you adjust or how were you adjusting? to this so-called public life. Kasi you're dating a politician yes. and you're going to marry him and it follows na public figure ka na rin in a way. How do you handle that? Yung pag-a-adjust, uh, medyo mahirap lang because I'm normally friendly to everybody. Yeah. And then uh, I, I realized later on na in politics pala, everybody can be your friends today and then tomorrow rivals na kayo. Uh, eh, very sincere ako, so na hurt ako for him, ayon. And and um, I, I really don't see myself as a public figure, <laughs> so I I just remain um, who I am and uh, my my values and ano how I see life. I I stick to that. Buti your family is very supportive, like your parents. Mm -hmm and your brothers and sisters considering that this can be a very tricky situation to get into politics you know yes um he they love them they, they love senator coco naman din siguro kasi he's very sincere nga uh, very real mm -hmm. um at nagulat din sila kasi at first nga akala nila stricto masungit then nung nakilala nila si senator coco talagang nagulat sila na ay sweet pala talaga and love talaga yung anak nila. Mm -hmm. What's the biggest challenge for you so far in this kind of life? Mm, nga, hindi mo malalaman sinong totoo at saka sino yung, sino yung hindi totoo and then minsan um, meron palang intention na masama pero nakikipag-close pa rin sa'yo. Yun. So how do you deal with it? Uh, as much as possible, I just try to be nice to everyone. I know, um, I know it sounds cliche, but iniisip ko na lang may karma kung kung talagang hindi maiiwasan and bilog naman ng mundo. Si yeah. Senator Coco ba meron siyang binibigay na advice sa'yo on how to handle these kinds of things? Kasi ang tagal na rin niya sa politics. Oo. He always tells me na you're too trusting, ah. huwag ka masyadong friendly to everybody. Kasi yun nga, nasa politics, so ingat ka din. Aside from that, what's the biggest lesson you've learned in mm. politics? As a parang so-called spectator on the side, watching everything <laughs> unfold. Y yun, yun, yun siguro na, na one day sobrang akala mo nga okay lahat, lahat sa paligid mo. Tapos biglang pagising mo pala, meron na palang mga balak na, na iba sa nag ginagawa towards your partner yon 
So yun, yun, yun yung biggest challenge for me. Kasi in spite of that, kailangan mo pa rin maging friendly kahit alam mong ginanoon ka na rin. Speaking of um, like the biggest challenge so far in Senator Coco's political career, when he was replaced as Senate President, how did you handle it? And ikaw, mm. pa, as a partner, how did you help him? For, for that naman, I told him na okay lang yan. Um, uh, ganun talaga ang buhay. Uh, na, 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 na pagbigyan naman na siya maging Senate President and and he he he, he tried his best to be the best the best Senate President I think um, it's time for ano for others naman to be to 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 ano to to be the Senate President also and I was supportive sabi ko no matter what kahit hindi ka na maging politician and dito naman yung family eh, ako and the two boys that that will be supportive of him and we will love him, politician or hindi pa politician. How is it at home? Do you talk about politics? Or Which, ibang topics na kasi napapagod <laughs> na kayo pareha sa topic na yun? As much as possible, hindi namin pinag-uusapan politics. More, more of, oh, ano food, ganyan, um, anong masarap kainan. Pero minsan, hindi talaga maiiwasan. We, we really have to talk about politics. Ano yun? More often than not ba, parehas kayo ng views on politics and politicians? Or there are times when you disagree with each other? Most of the time, kahit hindi kami madalas mag-usap about politics, parehas pala kami ng opinion. Then magugulat na lang siya kasi nga hindi naman ako politician talaga. But sometimes, talagang opposing views kami, like how he sees someone, and then ano naman yung sa tingin ko. Then nag, uh, at the end of the day, nag nag-usap din naman kami na na ng ng compromise about it. How is it to argue with a t- law top notcher? Ah, <laughs> I I can never win. <laughs> Why? So so uh, so pag nag-argue kami, nakikinig na lang ako. Kasi walang panalo eh, pag lawyer ang <laughs> ka-argue mo. <laughs> Yun. How is it at home sa mga anak, dun sa two boys? They call you Mama Kat, right? Yes, yes. How is it? Sinong mas disciplinarian? Sino ang so-called spoiler sa inyong uh, I think I'm the spoiler. Uh, because he, he he's very organized and disciplined talaga. So he he's the one na uh, taga-disciplina. Yon. Um, and I think si Akyu, the youngest, sometimes is more clingy to me than to his papa. Ganon. They text me every day, update me about their school activities. Ganyan. Mag nag-voice recorder sila, sinesend nila sa WhatsApp. So, so I think, ano naman sila, very, very okay. Very okay. Growing. How's your relationship naman with the rest of the Pimentel family? Uh, it's okay. It's okay then. Um, I, 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 ever since I was a little girl, I've, I've heard about Senator Nene Pimentel already. Um, how, talagang hero, hero at the time, ganyan. So I look up to him very much, and respect him and love him. Spe- uh, also his, mm-hmm. ano, his mom, Nanay Bing. Um, kasi marami rin namang matututunan. Yeah. When you <laughs> get to know her, also <laughs> she's very strong. So, meron ba siyang tips or advice sa you on how to be a politician's wife or <laughs> politician's partner? Sabi lang niya, um, you have to be more ano, more matatag, kasi it's not easy. Shempre, um, there will be times na maraming mag-attack then sa. Sa, sa inyo, ganyan. Just be patient and yun nga, very support. You have to be supportive to your husband. With all those warnings, so are you ready to be a politician's <laughs> wife? Two weeks na lang. I think I'm ready to be wherever my life takes me with my husband. Yeah. What will be your role in the 2019 campaign of Senator Coco and siya kasi yung president ng PDP Laban? What will you do? Um, I will just support him, and then um, he told me na oh, kapag sometimes I cannot go to the provinces that I have to attend. 
ikaw na lang mag-proxy sa akin. <laughs> uh, nakita niya kasi siguro na masipag ako mag-ikot din sa PDP Cares. So sabi ko, okay lang. Sige, I'll help you. Are you ready to speak to like, the public? <laughs> I'll try my best. <laughs> Yun, uh, I'll, I'll speak uh, as a normal normal ano normal <laughs> normal citizen because yun nga hindi naman ako politician mm-hmm. so i'll speak from the heart can you tell us about pdp laban cares because we know that it's the humanitarian arm of the ruling party and you're the chairperson of that organization and recently you just celebrated your first year anniversary can you tell us how you decide to establish or to create that organization PDP Laban Cares was born during the Marawi siege. Um, I, I, I saw kasi, uh, I felt the need that the, our Muslim brothers and sisters needed help, uh, instant relief at the time. So I volunteered. Sabi ko kay Senator Coco, um, I want to go to Marawi. Akala niya nagjo-joke lang ako. Sabi, sabi niya, are you sure? Sabi ko, yes. Sabi ko, so pumunta ako with my, ano, with my friends at the time. Yun, yun palang volunteers ko. Nung du- bumalik, bumalik na kami sa Manila, nagulat siya kasi successful yung trip. So sabi ko sa kanya, pupunta ako ulit eh, sa Marawi. I, I want to do a second relief kasi kulang yung dinala namin. Sabi niya, bago ka mag second relief, i-formalize muna natin yung PDP Cares na humanitarian arm ng PDP Laban. So how do you get the funding for that? We get the funding from our PDP Laban party mates and majority of the funding talaga is from family and friends din. Na yun, yung kahit wala pa yung PDP Cares, first time pa lang pumunta ng Marawi, mm-hmm. tumulong na talaga sila. Let's talk about your upcoming wedding. So, si President Duterte and Special Assistant to the President Bongo are among your ninongs. Yes. How is it like to be with President Duterte? Ilang beses mo na rin siya nakakasama in, yes. as a party mate and as a, you know, as a personal friend? Or... He's very kind and um, he's very respectable talaga. I guess, yun nga, um, minsan hindi lang yung perception kasi sa kanya is yun nga very strong then very strict uh, pero pero pag you know, on a personal level na nakikita na meet ko na rin siya and nakasama very very ano siya very uh, very respectable and very sweet din naman pala so parang iba yung nakikita ng mga tao na president Duterte sa TV na nagmumura or Uh-oh. nag kung ano-ano sinasabing masasama against people dun sa personal na kakilala mo. Ah, yes. Mm. Oo. Kasi ang mga advice pa nga niya when we visited him is real, real, uh, talagang for life na advice eh. How like to what? strengthen your marriage, yung mga pagkakamali sa past. Mm-hmm. Uh, pin, ang, ang, yun yung lesson na sinasabi niya na para mag, mag-last yung marriage, you have to be more patient mm-hmm. <laughs> with each other, ganyan. Mm-hmm. Kasi yun nga, being married nga is not a joke. Ano pa yung other advice niya sa inyo as a couple? Uh, I understand you visited him in Malacanang last week or last last week? Yes, yes. Uh, yun lang, sabi lang niya na mag, 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 mag baby din, ganyan, create your own, fa- uh, have your own family. Mm-hmm. And pasensya, yun. Yun yung sabi niya. Yung word na pasensya. Dapat magpasensyahan talaga. And lalo na daw yung girl. Kasi nga politician yung husband. So, dapat mas mahaba yung pasensya. Recently, the spouses of some senators, they threw you a bridal shower lunch. Yes. So, how was it like? And ano yung mga tips na binigay nila sa sa'yo? Especially some of them were married for... 50 married years. For, yeah. Like, uh, Tita Kate Gordon. And... I think 25 years na si Tita Mila and si Tita Franks. Uh, their advice naman was um, you have to be supportive but at the same time assertive in a sweet way daw. <laughs> paano daw yun? <laughs> yun? Yun ang kailangan kong um, timplahin kung pa paano gagawin yun. <laughs> yun. Are you, I mean, you've been a chef almost um, for a decade, right? Yes. yes and yes, now, yes. parang iba na yung ginagawa mo. Are you okay with that? Na your own career is taking a backseat because of the career of your husband to be. 
okay lang naman din sa akin uh, because I want him to be successful also and I want our future family to be happy. So whatever makes him happy, I'll support him. Pero syempre, I still cook at home. As a hobby? Yes, as a hobby. Hindi mawawala yun. Kasi pag napapagod ako or nasa stress ako, yun yung ano ko, yun yung way, way, way ko para stress relief, magluto. <laughs> I think um, going back to the bridal shower, not many people know na iba man ang partido ni Senator Coco at ang partido ni Senate Minority Leader Franklin Drilon. Pero kayong dalawa nung mag, uh, kayong dalawang ladies, si Mrs. Mila Drilon and ikaw, are very close to each other. Can you tell us how it happened? K- um, kasi since uh, ever since I met Tita Mila five years ago, I think. Um, siya yung unang naging friend ko and I really find her very sincere and totoong tao. So from then on, um, every time magkikita kami sa trips or sa mga um, se- opening session, yun, naging seatmates kami and iba, iba pala pag, pag magaan yung loob mo sa tao eh. Talagang lalabas na lang din yun. Kahit magkaiba, like imagine a uh, critic of the president and a strong supporter of the president. It, um, I think that's fine kasi um, when we talk, we don't talk about Senator Drilon or Senator Coco. We just exchange ideas um, about uh, traveling, food. Mahilig din kasi si Tita Mila sa food. So, so yun din yung pinag-usapan namin. So, you namin. have common interests din talaga yes. outside of being yes, senator, yes. senator's partners. Yes, and she's very sweet and lovable talaga. Ideal, ideal mom. Can you take us back to your wedding preparations? Yes. How was it? It's medyo ano na, um, okay na siya at this time. Uh, si our, our theme, uh, our design will be Philippine, Filip, Filipiniana. So Robert Blanca, Blanca Flor will help us style the Coconut Palace. Tapos Chef Laura Belliatko will be the caterer. And we will be serving Filipino food. Tapos uh, Tito Paul Cabral will, will make my dress and um, Senator Cocos Barong. Ever since naman siya yung nagtatahe eh. Um, and then Tita Peng Ching for the cake. And then we will be serving um, the traditional sorbetero, sorbetero mm-hmm. ice cream. It will be prepared by Miss Happy Ong Pao Kotiu. And then um, Junar, ever since um, she was, uh, he was my makeup artist naman and stylist. So si Junar Santos will do my makeup and hair. And our ano our, our wedding organizer is Tina Barreto. Okay na okay naman. <laughs> is it stressful to plan a wedding? I mean, an event, a high profile event such as that. Kasi aattend ng President Duterte. Eh. <laughs> okay lang, okay lang naman. Medyo medyo marami lang details, but I think it's worth it because it will be a great honor for our president to attend talaga to be our ninong. So after the wedding, I mean timing yung wedding na it's at the end of the filing of the certificates of candidacy. Mm-hmm. And what's next for you as a married couple? May honeymoon na ba agad? <laughs> Wala, mapupostpone muna kasi uh, yun nga uh, preparing for the campaign and election for the May 2019. So nag-usap naman kami ni Senator Coco na after the elections na lang yung honeymoon. And any plans to have a baby in the near future? <laughs> and how many? At least two. And if it's God, God's will, uh, sana right after the election, meron na agad. Mm-hmm. <laughs> any other thoughts you want to share with our viewers? Wala naman. Um, thank you for inviting me, Camille. <laughs> it's very interesting to interview you now, especially that you're going to be Mrs. Coco Pimentel <laughs> in the next few weeks. I've been actually trying to set an interview with you, kaya lang nabasi ka na with PDP Laban, with the polit- pol- political affairs in the country. So, thank you for granting us your first ever sit-down interview. Thank you also, Camille, for inviting. <laughs> and that was Miss Katrina Yu, who in two weeks' time will be known as Mrs. Coco Pimentel. Hope you enjoyed the interview. I'm Camille Elamia.